Hey YouTube, it's Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Now before I get into this Xcode tutorial, I do want to uh, apologise yet again for not putting out a lot of videos. Uh, I have had a lot of exams, um, I've had about I think 10 in total so far over the past week or two. So I've been revising for them, studying for them, so... Uh, yep, so hopefully I'll be getting back into the tutorials now, but I still have a couple of, of exams left to do. Um, so, I've got a quick question for you guys. Either I can carry on with the series I've just started of doing UI view animations or I can start a new series that works on UI table views but I can only choose one of them. So that's my question for you, just leave a comment or send me a message which of which tutorial you'd like best and as I've said I can only do one or the other so you'll have to choose one and then the majority will obviously win. Um, so yeah, that's what's going to happen, but today I obviously don't know that answer, so I'm going to go over something called senders, or ID senders, or button tags, or whatever you want to call them. Basically, you'll see some, some buttons in code, or some actions in code, that will say the action name, and then colon ID sender. Basically, what it does, it actually allows you to work out what button is being pressed. So you can have one action connected to seven different buttons, but still do a different action depending on what the button says back. So what you do is the send a bit. This is what I understand. I don't know if this is true or not. But basically what happens is you as soon as the user presses the button, if you've got sender on it, ID sender, it the button will like send a little bit of information back to you and tell you what the button's called or what the button's tag is. And then from that tag, you can then work out what to do with the button. So you can do loads of different stuff like play different sounds, show different views, and you only need to have one action, not seven different actions, just one. So enough blabbering on. Uh, we'll start a new project. Uh, view based, and I'm just going to call it button tags. Oops, I spelt it wrong, who cares? It doesn't matter because I'm going to delete it in a bit anyway. Um, so here we are in our action. Uh, in our action, I mean in our project uh, and first of all we're going to go into here and for this tutorial I'm going to use one UI label and change the labels colour depending on what buttons pressed. Um, so so um, I don't know if you've seen them or not but basically a normal action will just have uh, that on the end it will just have button with a semicolon but this action has a colon ID sender on the end and that ID sender bit allows you to work out what buttons being pressed so I'm just going to copy and paste that into here, open that up, and what's going to happen in here, we're going to use something called a switch case statement, where basically uh, I can switch between the outcomes depending on what the input is. So if the input from the sender tag is 1, the output will be different, and if the sender is 2, and, and so on. So I'll just type that out, and I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I have a whole bunch of code here that you might have seen before, might not have seen. I've done it in another video uh, before, um, but basically it uses something called a switch statement, where basically you just type in switch, and the whole thing should actually pop up, but you'd only have one case. Now, what you need to do is just copy and paste that case all the way down like I have, and then you can have five. So that's what I've got, I've got five, but you have as many as you need. And the way we access what button's being pressed is via the sender tag. So the button has a tag, and the tag is set to a certain number. And then the sender will grab that tag, and then you can work out the integer from that. So the tag is always going to be an integer. So you work, you get that by uh, typing in these two square brackets here, sender, and then the tag. So if, basically it's saying, if the sender tag is equal to zero, change the color, to orange if it's equal to one change the color to blue if it's equal to two change the color to red three brown four and purple so that's basically what that means it looks very complicated but it's actually very simple and you can use this for a whole bunch of things guys so this is only one action remember so we only have one action in interface builder to connect up but depending on the button that's pressed, it will do all these different things. So you can do this for loads of things. So say if you've got a soundboard app and you've got loads of sounds, and instead of having to put an action for every single sound, like action one, action two, you just have one action called play sound, and then you go if the sound equals one, play laughing sound. If the sound equals two, play sad sound or whatever, you know, I don't know. But you can use it for all sorts of stuff like that. So uh, that's that. So we're just going to go into interface builder here. 
and uh, I'm going to speed up making the interface here but I'm going to come back to show you the connections so you don't get lost with the connections but I'm going to speed up the making it because you might want to make it different but basically what we're going to need, we're going to need one label and we're going to need five buttons so I'll be back in a minute once I'm done Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see I've just put a label and our five buttons here, the orange, blue, brown, red and purple. Um, now you need to make sure you get this correct and I'll explain in a minute but basically what we need to do is just connect the label to the label and then the button to every single button you see. You can choose whatever action you want, touch up inside for mine, so touch up inside, touch up inside and as you can see we just need one action and it's connected to all the different buttons. Now you're probably going to ask me, now how do I set the tags for these buttons? How does how are these buttons numbered? Now if you select one button here and you go to this tab here, the attributes tab, you will then see if you scroll down a little bit, down, 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 you'll see something called tag, which is this this little box here. It says tag under the view option. Now the orange is set to zero, which is what we want. Because if we go back to our code here, we have orange color and we have a zero. So if it equals zero, we're going to go orange. If we equals one, we're going to go blue. Two, we're going to go red. So for each different color, we want the correct tag. So for orange, as we've already just checked, it is set as zero. For blue, it was set as one. So we just tap the up there to one. Brown, I think was set as four. Uh, no, no, brown was three. Uh, yep, I believe brown was three. Uh, <laughs> And then red is uh, two, I think. Yeah, red is two, and purple finally is four. So as you can see there, I got a little bit confused, so make sure you have all that figured out. But as you can see, just one action, very quick to uh, to fix and put up there, and you only need to code one action. You don't need to code seven different actions to connect the right actions up. It's just the right tags and then the right connections. So that's pretty easy to do. Um, so that should be it for this tutorial guys, so I'm going to go hit run here and I'm back in a minute to check it works. Alright guys, I'm back and here's our app as you can see. And hopefully if I've labelled the tags correctly, we should get an orange button, our orange label, sorry. Blue label, brown label, red label and purple label. So as you can see, I have uh, put the tags correctly and that's a very small amount of code, only one action and we can do loads of different things with just one action. So that's a way you can shorten down your code and not have 50 different actions for all your sounds you have. You only have one action and just a bunch of code in that action. So I hope that helped guys. I uh, hope you can variate that and use it in your own apps. Um, so yep, again, code will be in the description. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at FailCakeApps. Little things should pop up on the screen about now. Um, because I keep you, I keep everyone updated on that when new videos are coming out, what's happening, why I haven't been doing videos, blah blah, blah all that sort of stuff. Um, uh, and if you can, guys, just you know, click on the little odd ad in one of my videos because it helps out a lot. And uh, don't forget to comment on the thing I said at the start of the video, which series you want me to carry on with, either the UI um, table view or the UI animation view animation stuff. Um, and don't forget to rate and subscribe. So thanks for that, guys, and see you in my next video.